Hi, welcome to my video about Banana Pi M2 Berry. What can you expect? You will see unboxing of the board where you can download the operating systems, boot and pictures from thermal imaging camera. The Cinevoip company is known thanks to single board computers called Banana Pi on the whole world. Cinevoip offers a lot of single board computers, quite cheap, small and too powerful. Cinevoip also offers interesting boards like R2, board with a few gigabit interfaces and connector for hard disk. Ok, come back to Banana Pi M2 Berry. You see 40 pins header with peripherals like I2C, SPI and UART. Wireless connectivity is doing by Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module called AP6212. The board has internal antenna on board and also UFL connector for external antenna. The video output is doing by HDMI 1.4 version. The output should be up to 1080p with 60Hz. You can connect the hard disk to Banana Pi M2 Berry by SATA interface and the board includes power supply for hard disk as well. The processor of the board is Alvino V40, quad core with Mali 400 MP2 GPU. The amount of RAM is 1 GB DDR3 SDRM. There are 4 USB 2.0 connectors and also RJ45 connector which supports 1 Gigabit Ethernet standard. On this side is power micro USB connector, reset button, HDMI connector, microphone output and display connector called MyPi DSi. On the next side you see 40 pins header and micro SD card slot. The board supports up to 64 GB. Next to these components is power button and camera input interface, CSI. Ok, let's download the operating system for Banana Pi M2 Berry. Find official download website for Berry and choose Berry board. Now are available two operating systems, Ubuntu 16.04 and Raspbian based on Debian Jesse. After downloading of operating system, unzip the archive with Raspbian. The Raspbian image can be uploaded on micro SD card by Win32 Disk Manager for Windows users and Linux users can use DD command or another utility. Now you see the boot of system and picture of thermal imaging camera on the right side. The processor doesn't have a cooler. During the test the temperature didn't cross 40 degrees of Celsius. During the complicated processes it's better to use cooler. The board will be tested and the results you find on timeforee.com websites. SSH is automatically available after start of board, so the login is Pi and the password is Banana Pi. The picture from thermal imaging camera doesn't fit with time. At the end we try ping test with Google server. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share it. The news from Electronics Find on timeforee.com websites.